Hello everyone and welcome back to Addo's Playtime. Today we're jumping back into Dyson Sphere, Rise of the Dark Fog. And in the last episode, we were able to get a hold of our planetary shields and we are looking really good. As you can see, our home planet here is looking very, very protected. And that is pretty awesome. So I kind of want to go and protect all of the other planets as well, as well as maybe even take on a few of the planets. So as you can see in the grand scheme of things, the only planet that we're really utilizing is Aetis Pupus 4 here. Yeah, it's the only one that we are leeching all of the resources off of. So I want to go ahead and try to take on Aetis Pupus 1. It definitely is something that we need to try to try to get to. But I'm afraid of that if I take out all the dark fog here, where are they going to go? So we really need to go and make sure that we put a, some kind of shields up on Aetis Pupus 4. I want to make sure that we get it all kind of put together in that way that there is n absolutely no chance that we have any threat to this planet as well as our home world. So how are we going to do that today? Well, we're probably going to have to mm, fix some problems and then head over there. What problems might that be that we fix? Well, the one thing I'd like to do is go ahead and move all of our rocket manufacturing and Mm, do away with all of the bullets. We don't really need bullets like that anymore. No, no way. And where are we going to make this better? Well, we're going to put that sucker right up here next to where all of our other factories have been being built. So that's kind of what I want to do. I also want to put the missile turrets here so that we can kind of do it all at once. Like everything is in one location. It's centralized and it's wonderful. Now, one of the things that was uh, left from a comment is that we can bury certain resources. So the resource veins. So if we want to, we can switch to the down mode, the bury mode, and then I can just bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, do that and I, we kind of discovered that in the last episode thank you for the comments and if you have a comment of a tip or trick go ahead and leave it down below now once we get our new rocket facility kind of up and running my kind of my plan is is to you know go and protect and conquer the last planet in our area i want to protect them all and i do want to make sure that you know, we're not getting attacked by the dark fog. Maybe a little bit of defensive structures on each planet. So anyways, that's kind of the plan for today. And if you are into planetary protection, make sure that you leave a like on this video. So the first thing we need to do, well, we're just going to destroy all this stuff again. And yeah, clean up. That's a disaster. I don't think that Icarus wants to clean up that kind of mess again. Uh, I know, buddy. So a comment that was made was that we could use these battlefield analysis bases to help with our cleanup. And they're right. I knew that this was something you could do. As long as I put it in the range of all of this stuff, if I start deleting things, it'll just automatically pick it up and put it in here if my Icarus is full. So let's get to going. We'll just go ahead and start just letting all this stuff go away. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we can't destroy the towers, but everything else, we'll just get rid of it for now. And as soon as it hits the ground with the battlefield analysts kind of in the vicinity, it just starts picking stuff up. And it's pretty awesome. I could just let it be. Now, you could put drones in it, and it makes it a lot faster, but I'm not really too worried about it. As long as it's picking things up as we go by, and I'm just getting all of these things done... That's all that matters to me. So as the dawn breaks on our new project, uh, the battlefield analyst was very handy. It actually collected all the materials and I didn't have to really do too much. We don't have nearly the stuff that we had from the last little, you know, adventure of destroying. So with that all out of the way and, you know, the stuff being put away in storage, we're going to go ahead and start in on the missile production. I think we're going to use a lot of the blueprints that we already have. <laughs> Easy peasy. So what do we need for those missiles again? Ah, it's been so long since we've done them. I need to check and see what it is. So the things that we need are going to be copper, which we get from the off-world engines, which we will manufacture easily. Uh, circuit boards, which are just copper and iron. That'll be simple. And some combustible units. And for the combustible units, we still have plenty of coal on the, you know, planetary logistics. So we got that ready to rock for the engines it shouldn't be too bad it's just a two manufacturer we'll have to make some more of these magnetic coils but that's not something that's going to be too difficult so we're just going to plop those suckers down right here in a nice straight line and have everything we need as we've done this several times i'm going to go ahead and just 
kind of do that now also in the background i'll probably collect up most of this copper and you know the iron that we were using and some more coal and you know things of that nature all the stuff that we were using because we disconnected this coal vein over here so we should just probably put it on the logistics boom just like that pretty simple and we've got all of our magnetic coils into the circuit boards into the combustible units into the engines into rockets rockets are dead that's easy so now with all that done it's just the missile turrets so what do we need for all that well nothing that we haven't already made a lot of and i mean a lot of these items again was planning ahead when i was making all that stuff so i think we'll make actually some more engines it does I think it is the one thing that I don't have the most of. So with that being said, we'll just go ahead and slap down. I don't know. It's a four item kind of thing here. So my plan would be is to have two items going on the right side, two items on the left side, and then kind of one item that gets ejected into, you know, a bin like this. So one planetary logistic tower that goes maybe right here and has all of the engines being made as well now yes we have tons of engines over here but like i said it's one of the few things that i don't think that we have that many on the interplanetary logistics system so i'd like to go ahead and just get a few extra of those just in case you never know engines might come in handy and boom just like that all done now as i was doing some of this stuff i did realize that there were a few things that were not really coming into our hmm, engines area very well mostly it was the magnetic coil so i went ahead and i i just made more i mean n nothing hurting making more there's a lot more now i did kind of squeeze it in here i had to finagle some things so that we could make sure we get everything as we need it to as well as to get some of that uh you know sweet sweet juice coming down the line so with all that being said and all of it being done all we have to do is just request all the items here so what was that again we just need steel motors circuit boards and engines so here we go it's all demanded it's ready to rock and we just gotta let it loose and just like that our missile turrets are being made fantastic that's gonna be great now i don't really need that many of these let's 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 just chill on that let's just take that down a couple notches so what's the next thing we need well we need to get the sulfur off world why is that well i want to make deuterium on every single planet and to do that we're going to need sulfur to make the titanium alloy I haven't sent it off world yet so that's going to be something that we're gonna oh boy it might be a little rough on this planet but we need it and I want every planet to be able to support its own shield generators with the deuterium fuel rods. So yeah, we just got to find one of these logistic towers that isn't doing anything and we'll make it sulfur. What a shock, it's the first one I clicked on. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and pull this sulfuric acid here. We will go for a local demand, but a remote supply. And honestly, we won't... Mm, I don't know, like 5,000? That sounds like a good amount. Half of our total reserve. So then that means when we get to the cold planet, we can go ahead and request that and we'll have all the sulfur we ever need. I hope. Maybe? I don't know. All right, so we're back here on the frozen tundra planet and we're going to go ahead and set one of these guys up now to get our sulfuric acid as a remote demand. So We'll also tell it to say, I don't know, about 5,000. That should be plenty. We had a few of these spare logistics towers, you know, doing its thing. Now, the other thing that we've done is, is I've gone ahead and put a couple of these shield generators on the north and south pole. So that way we can just kind of get an idea of, you know, where we sit so far. So now we kind of, you know, look a little funny. We got a hat and some pants on. It's great. But the first thing we need to get done is, is we need to get that deuterium kind of... Mm, you know working um and that reminds me that we also need to get us uh, some deuterium being delivered here so as a remote demand as well so we'll set that again as well to i don't know we need quite a bit of it so we'll do we'll do the 5000 as well a half a half a logistics tower that seems like a good amount so while we wait on those to kind of supply up what i've done here is i've kind of counted out as much as i can with these it's kind of to get an idea of how many of these and their spacing. I, I just, I don't really know what exactly. I do wish there was kind of a range. Like it would give you an idea of how far apart 
Like it gives you a range on a lot of things, but for some reason for these shield generators, it doesn't give you any kind of range whatsoever. So let's go along the equator and we'll go ahead and get all of those done. And then after that, I'll put my, I don't know, I think it's like five that you have to do at the top and the bottom. Oh, it just kind of is a bit of annoying. I'm not a big fan of odd numbers, but let me get all those set up and we'll see where we sit on the power grid as a whole. And then we'll decide whether or not if we need to get our power grid up and going a little bit faster. All right, so with the last of these planetary shields getting kind of put up and going, we are feeling pretty protected. I mean, we're looking at about, uh, what is it, 79%? So, you know, they're coming online now. Well, what's the big thing then? Well, ugh, our power grid hurts. <laughs> it hurts hurts it's painful it's so painful oh my gosh okay so we really need to get the diterium up and running so where are we gonna do that now i don't know if i think i can squeeze it in right here i think i can put everything as far as diterium fuel making right here there's not too many things that we want to build on this planet this is kind of strictly a resource planet so let me get the mech over there and let's kind of lay out how our deuterium is needs to be put up ah yes i think this will be plenty of room and we have space below the equator too when we need to use it all right so what do we need again well we put this deuterium here just as a reference point so we know what we need to make so blue motors we need deuterium and we need the titanium alloy so we should be able to make those things pretty easy and with our blueprints it should go pretty fast so first I'm going to set up a line of all the motors, probably I'll do three of the regular engines, the electric motors, then two of the green and then one of the blue. That way we're getting enough supply for all of that. And then after that, somewhere in this section will probably be where most of the deuterium gets made. So we'll need some steel, we'll need some titanium alloy and then the deuterium. Now over here on the right hand side, I'd like to go ahead and make some of the proliferation so that we can go ahead and proliferate this stuff as it's going to be our fuel source and i really want that to be kind of proliferated now we're getting close to some things over on that side so what i'll probably do to keep everything nice and close and tight together is i'll probably make all the magnetic coils and gears we need for those motors we'll probably do three and three of each of those now because of our blueprints i mean making this out laying this out nice and quick it's not going to be that hard so we're just kind of We'll do the three motors, two greens, and that's done. We'll get that going. And then over here, we'll have blue motors, and then we'll have the two steel production and the titanium production. And then we'll go right here with probably the deuterium. And then from there, three of the magnetic coils, and then we'll do one, two, three of the other gears as well. Now, once we get over here for the proliferation, we'll need Mark 1, we'll need Mark 2, and then we'll need some diamonds, and we have that blueprint as well. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and put diamonds there. We'll need some steel smelting, and then we'll also need the blueprint that we made up for our titanium smelter, which is a four smelter item. So, yeah, I'll have to fix that here in a minute, but that's pretty much it. I mean, it's all laid out. It's ready to rock. Our power grid is going <laughs> to definitely be hurting for a little bit longer while we get all this built. But uh, yeah, let me let me let these drones just go at it. Let's let's see how long this takes. I mean, I think that this is uh, it's going to take a very long time. I mean, we actually have to zoom out to the planetary view just <laughs> to get an idea of the scale of what we're doing here. But yeah, I think that this deserves a, you know, pop in. So all done. That's it. All built and everything is ready to rock and roll. Now, we went ahead and got some of the items up and running. Um, one of the things that we did is we went ahead and got the proliferators going first. Now, I still still have a few recipes to set on the other end, but we really need to get this going as quick as possible. There was only about two or three trips that had to be made back to the home planet. <laughs> so, yeah, we need to get all the recipes set here. These, This is the last setup of items that i have and then once that's done we're going to jump over here and we're going to just start making all these okay so everything is rolling but uh oh my gosh uh we have a bit of a situation uh it's not rolling very fast and why is that well 
Oh, man, our power grid is really hurting. And it's starting to make me a bit nervous because these things are not running at their full efficiency, which means we're not getting the deuterium as quick as we need to to set up the power plants and all that sort of thing. So I'm getting a little nervous. I need this deuterium. I need it now. I need it in my belly i need it in my mech um, we are making stuff but man oh man it is so slow the big hold up is the titanium here uh, i'm not really sure what's going on it's not really exiting or something to that nature there's nothing in storage uh, i do see it being made but i do not understand why it's not getting there fast enough and we are not really making any deuterium we have a little bit being made but we are using that to supply so <laughs> oh my gosh this is getting a little a little tight i mean if the dark fog would decide to you know attack our planet uh it's it's protected right now it's it's protected except for a couple of spots that i probably need to move some things around but yeah um it's making me a little nervous i'm pretty sure that the power is going to go out very soon and then i don't know you can't shut these things off we I don't there's nothing that I could find that allows you just to shut off all of these at once. I really wish that that was something we could do and to toggle the shields on and off. Um, yeah, if you know, let me know in the comments, because it would really help out in this situation right now. And as we have a whole nother planet, I think that we did this a little backwards. We probably should have made the deuterium first and then got the shields on secondly so i'm gonna continue to panic a little bit and see if i can't get some deuterium you know rocking and rolling this is kind of one of those you know bonehead moves way to go out of i you did the things in the wrong order Ugh, i should have known better Okay, so we have 24 of them coming on the way and we have a few of the generators are active. So we're starting to kind of manage this a little bit. Um, our power grid is still suffering drastically. Oh boy. Yeah, we probably should have stored up some power and some batteries too. So yeah, it, this is just a waiting game. It's going to happen. I, I don't want to fly back to the planet and try to save it by getting deuterium. Ugh. I just kind of keep running back and forth, checking on things, grabbing the deuterium as I comes across the line. If it's not being transported and run over here and throw it in there just to get some power, these things up enough to get going. I mean, <laughs> oh boy, it's a good time. I mean, we're even losing power on our fire ice here. So <laughs> that's that's not good. OK, so we have our biggest supply yet of 105 on the belt coming in and We've got quite a few of these guys rolling now. We're getting so close to what we need, but there are they are still tending to run out and uh, before it comes back. It is burning that deuterium up pretty quick. Now, this end one, it tends to stay on the longest just because of the fact that. Uh, yeah, but as you can see, it's trickling down, turning one generator on and then it's off. But every time it kicks them on, we get a boost of power, which means that we're making more of the deuterium every single time. Most of these guys at the front are full, so it's not taking off too much from the front. It's just by the time it gets to the end, it usually doesn't have that much left. I'm I'm just waiting for a decent stagnant amount of this stuff so that everybody gets full up for one good run. And yeah, oh boy, this is incredibly nerve wracking, but we are getting close. I mean, we're I know these numbers seem weird, but uh, we're we're pretty close. We're almost there. We've almost got what we need made so that we don't have to run back to the planet or be nervous about it anymore. We can just calm down and play our video game. OK, so this may be the last little bunch. I've added a few more generators. Hopefully this will just take us over the top. 100 percent efficiency. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right. We made it. <laughs> that was quite the struggle to get that power up and running the way we want. Now, what I definitely want to do is add a few more of these in. I want two two lines of generators all through this line, just kind of pulling off the deuterium as it needs to. And the reason is, is to have quite a bit of extra power if it's ever needed again on this planet. 
Uh, if the dark fog would happen to start firing on our shields, I want them to recover well. The other thing I want to do is definitely make some power backup. So I went back to the home planet not too long ago and I got some of the power banks and I got a hundred of them and I'm just going to make like a small power station like backup battery station. I don't know here. I don't know. I'll figure out some place to put it, but I'll just put all those down. And then once this planet is secured, I'll head back home and we will start thinking about our next phase, which is going to be where we take the other planet down and then we'll do the same thing. Maybe we'll throw a shield on it that might get in today's episode. Maybe it won't. I don't know how much time we're going to have. That dark fog attack is always time consuming. All right, so we've got everything we need to go probably take on that planet. Now I am taking a few things that are probably a little unnecessary, but we do need to build some things as soon as we get there. Mostly just, you know, defensive structures, but we also want to make sure that we have things in order for our, you know, planetary shield generation as soon as we get going. That's what all the deuterium is for. So we're taking quite a few items that have to do with the missiles. We'll take the deuterium. We'll take some uh, deuterium fusion power plants, as well as we're taking some of the, you know, solar panels. And yeah, that way we can have plenty of those. I made up some of the prototypes so that we can try to help out in the battle a little bit more than we have instead of cowering behind our missiles. Huh. But the one good thing is, is that our planet pretty close. So if we do need to come back and forth, if the orbit is right, it'll be in our back door. So that's the one good thing about this. We're not trekking halfway across the galaxy like we did over here. So that's going to be the best case scenario. So big thing is, is we just need to take off and head over there, find a good spot to set up a military base and prepare for battle. All right, so I don't want to come in too hot. I want to come in nice and slow and land, I think, somewhere about here. I think just a nice, easy touchdown right there. That should be good. Yeah, so this will be a good spot maybe to set up a military base. I mean, we've got dark fog here. Hmm. Let me see where the best place I could think of to make that. I feel in right here, but... Uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe we should be on the other side in the middle of everybody. Yeah, let me let me see how I can navigate through all this and see where we get to. All right. Yes, I think this big open space, this is going to be perfect for our battlefront area. All right. So what are the first things that we need now until we build power items? We are not going to receive a threat from any of these guys. They know we're here, but the threat does not go up quickly. So. The idea is, is to run this as quick as I can and get this set up. So I think we'll set up maybe seven across and then we'll do five down. That should be. I think that should be enough. So if we line that up perfectly, so there is five of them right there. So like so, and then we'll just kind of do that all the way and since we're using signal towers all of these guys will shoot from across the planet if i really wanted them to but we'll start out with you know 35 of these and see how that works now the good thing is is we're going to be able to put all of our missiles into a storage right here in the center we'll say and then we'll just weave a belt kind of alternating between each one so we'll go there all the way across to this one and then we'll probably come out a couple just so that we can have some overlapping belt and then we'll go across like so and then come out again go up and into this last one um i don't know maybe here i will i guess we have to go all the way through no what what's going on hello uh hello colliding with another object well yes i know but you're supposed to collide with that object and then we'll have the other one just weaving in the opposite direction it doesn't have to be pretty it just has to work now, the other thing that we're going to have to think about is power. So I think if I just put a power like in between each one of these, it should be more than enough to get this done. So we'll just go ahead and pop power towers in on every of these corners. The next thing I brought with us are these battlefield uh, analysis. And the reason I want to use some of these is, is they automatically repair when it's necessary. So we'll put a couple of those out in the back and then a couple of these out in the front as well as we'll put signal towers on each corner 
That way we're keeping that signal as best as we can. Now we may put a few more of these in, but I specifically want to protect all of our rocket launchers as they are the things that we need to, you know, take out the dark fog. Go ahead and load this sucker up, but we won't, again, turn on anything just yet. Power out the back here. And the reason we'll do that is so that we can, you know, put our actual power generators that we need across about there. I brought enough deuterium just to get us started, but we'll probably be putting a big solar farm down to begin with. So I think if we just, well, we'll have to remove that one, but I think if we just put a bunch of these down just to kick off and get started and maybe even be able to store some power, that'll be good for us to get it kind of going. But now it's just, hmm, what do we need? I think we just need solar, a bunch of solar panels with us to kind of get that going. So as soon as we do this, it's going to kick off and we're pretty close to this guy. So, I mean, I'm going to do the best that I can, but unfortunately it does seem too that we're out of the solar range for right now. So we're going to have to wait for the sun to come around before this really gets going, which isn't a bad idea. Um, just because, you know, it gives us some time to prepare ourselves. Okay, the power is on. We went back home and got a bit more deuterium and we got some of the already full up of the battery accumulators. I, I just wanted to kind of get things kicked off and running. Now we should be good as far as everything goes. I, I hope. Now, the big thing is, is which one will we go for first? I think we do have these guys that are close, but signal towers should take care of them. The signal towers reach out a decent amount of space, but uh, I am a little worried that they may not get healed. Now, we did put some of the, you know, prototype drones in there so that <laughs> we have some form of protection. But yeah, we didn't do that many of them. I'm thinking we just go north and we start taking these guys out. I'm not, like I said, too worried about this one or the one over in the other corner, but once we get these guys up and running, we got to get those thermal generators in spots so that we can start gaining some power vicariously through that. So here we go. We're just going to go ahead and try to take these guys out. We're going to make a sneak attack in the dark of night. So we're putting these other towers out because they get a little bit better range. So I'm going to go ahead and try to sneak this that close. Oh boy, I hope I can I can do it. And there we go. It's off. Oh man. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Taking them out. Dark fog one at a time, baby. So we got our drones in there, but they immediately died. They're they're gone. Can I put those like do I have more? Can I do hangar? I can. Well, yeah, but now I only have like a few left, but whatever. We don't really need to fight. We just need the rockets to do their their magic so with the first bit of those towers kind of gone i'm gonna go ahead and sneak back out here a little bit farther i'm not getting hit just yet so they're just doing the attack thing creep up that tower just a little bit more get a oh yeah there we go bam look at it go oh they're shooting me a little bit but it's all right oh and that's that i mean we'll use the battlefield thing to kind of clean up the mess here but uh okay that wasn't that bad. Now we just need a thermal generator put in there. Oh no. Oh, we don't have any. Ugh. Give me a moment. As I sit here and try to, uh, you know, collect enough basic resources to get all this stuff done. Uh, yeah, we're getting attacked by the dark fog. Not a big deal. I went ahead and put in a few extra of these things out. I mean, the threats are not too bad right now, but it is making me a little nervous as I'm sitting here harvesting some stone. Oh my gosh, we're back to the basics. I'm sorry, Icarus. The good thing is that every time they're attacking, they are dropping some resources that I don't have to create, which is gonna come in handy, I think, here in the near future. Uh, I got something damaged? What's damaged? Oh, that signal tower? Yeah, no problem, we'll fix it. Oh well, man, I was over there harvesting some coal from over in this pile and they kind of snuck up on me. <laughs> I didn't even see them. They were coming on me hard. Okay, had to fall back for a minute. I just needed some, I just need some graphene. Leave me alone, leave me alone. I think we have everything that we need to handcraft at least one of these in here. So wait, what? Insufficient resource. Ah, steel. Ah, I can't handcraft steel in my mech, can I? 
God dang it. So now I have to do that in a smelter. All right, so we finally got enough steel. We finally got everything done and boom, there. That guy is going away. So we just need to do that, you know, like you know, 10 more times and it'll all be done. So we'll bring out some power out to, I don't know, about there. I think that should be close enough. Maybe we'll, oh boy, nope, 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 nope. Don't wanna, don't wanna aggro them. Oh my gosh, here they come. Yep, they're, they're after me now. Signal tower, save me. Save me, signal tower. First we'll do the battlefield analyst, and then we'll do a signal tower there, and we'll just kind of probably harvest both of these guys at the same time. That way I can get some steel rolling and I can have my next thermal power plant when I need it because it is just that that is hurting us right now. So we definitely want to get some steel cooking in the background. It takes 15 steel to, to make one of those thermal power plants. And I feel confident in our ability to take on the dark fog. I don't think we'll have any problems with it. So we have about four or five different battlefronts going on right now. It's a little bit chaos, but it seems like we're keeping up with everything. So as long as our power holds that, actually, I haven't even been looking at that. Oh, yeah, we're way good on power, <laughs> but we are keeping up with everything and we're gathering resources. And this is exactly what I needed to happen. We just need to have a few pieces of steel and the magnets and some other things going, just gathering them up. That way we don't have to, you know, harvest anything on this planet. Okay, so we're gonna cap off another one here. So that eliminates another dark fog. Uh, I wanna get the power off of it though. So we definitely wanna be putting some power towers next to everything. And that pretty much eliminates this one. Now I'll keep this signal tower here just in case. But we'll take all those supplies with us and we'll get ourselves out of here. As well as this one and that signal tower. We can get rid of those. I think this one would be the next. It's the, probably the next easiest to get. So we'll go ahead and pop that one there. And I think we will, should have another one built up here in a second. So we'll put that there. Go ahead and destroy all of that. Let our missiles kind of do their work. And boom. Another power generation. Goodbye, my friend. Go off back to your hive. Hello, hive. Um... Whoa, that makes me a little nervous. Why are you so close? Man, it's so close. You can see the center piece of it. Wow. 3.36 AU. Yeah, if I was on the outside of this planet, I'm pretty sure it would attack me. <laughs> oh boy. So we're down to our last dark fog tower. And I honestly just want to see if we can take this out ourselves. The threat is pretty decent. It's like a level two, so it's not too bad. I went ahead and made a bunch of these prototypes because we had so many materials just laying around. I thought, <laughs> why not just make a few of them by hand? So I, I want to see if I can take one out just myself. No missiles, no assistance. I can always throw up a signal tower if I absolutely need to. So here we go. Let's see if we can take this out. I should have enough of my own stuff to get things going. All right, my drones are doing okay, I guess. I don't know. Hello, somebody shoot somebody. Man, there's just a big old cluster of them right here. But my shields are keeping up. They're keeping up well. And I'm taking out the majority of these guys the best that I can. And I can, I can, ta I can target things from a distance. Oh boy, man, I'm getting shot hard though. My drone guys, we need to take out this, this right here. I want to take this out. This thing is hitting us the hardest, but my shields are keeping up. I think we can do it. I think that we can take it down. If I could just get that turret out, that is the only thing. Oh boy, nope, there's a whole bunch more of them now. Huh? Get that turret, get that turret. Oh man, oh man, there we go. Okay, turret is gone. Shouldn't be that much more bad. I think that all of my guys are dead. I think all of them are dead. Oh no, oh no, my mech is critical. Critical shields. Falling back, fall back. Okay, we did good, we did good. That was a great first attempt. We just need to heal up. We're gonna heal up, we're gonna get ready, and then we're gonna go after those guys again. We got our miniature fleet still back in here. Okay, good. So it's time for us to go after this again. So let's try our best to do what we can. And I'm gonna try to take out these turret things as best as I can. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we'll just skirt around here on the outside edge and try to take out as many of these guys as we possibly can. 
If we can get a little bit closer, try to shoot into that thing a little bit. Let's go around the outside edge here. I don't want to get too far away from my base, to be honest. <laughs> it's making me a little nervous. <laughs> All right. There's some things shooting at me. I think it's these things. So I need to take those guys out first. I think that would be the best way to do it. There's so many of them. How do they reproduce so fast? I don't know if we can do this. Not without more prototypes. Man, they just reproduce faster than I can take them out. I don't know if I can do this. We're going to keep trying, though. We'll just keep giving it the old college try. Oh, my power. My power. My shields. My shields are done. I do want to put, though, maybe one of those battlefield anal analysts up here to kind of collect some of the things that we're getting. I think that would be a good idea. If I put two of them, will they just heal each other? <laughs> maybe, it will help. maybe it'll work. I don't know. All right, we're going to give it another go. We've uh, charged up and got everything the way it's supposed to be, so... Hopefully we can just come out here and gosh, man, there's so many of them so fast. I don't even know what to do. I, I think if I click and hold, is it click and hold or is it just click that shoots at that tower? I think it's click and hold. So if I click and hold and hit that, yeah, it's taking those towers out pretty quick. I know I can take on the dark fog by themselves pretty quickly. That's not too big of a deal. It's just, there's so freaking many of them. It's nuts. We'll let our shields recharge just a little bit. And we'll come back in and just try to target just that tower. Just want to get that tower down. If I can get that tower down, I can stand in here a little bit closer and take out the rest of the dark fog without being hit. And I don't have to worry about it. There we go. Then. That tower is done. I can just take on the dark fog now. And hopefully, as I'm building more of my little guys uh, in my pocket, I can use those. They'll pop out. All that kind of good stuff. Just kind of kind of bob and weave. Bob and weave. Keep moving. Bob and weave. Here's my opportunity. It seems like it's run out of resources. Okay. Let's focus fire. Focus fire. Get rid of you. Focus fire. <laughs> if I can get rid of these. So these are what's producing the... The units themselves and if i can get rid of those okay we're almost done i can just get rid of this real quick here we go this is it they're gonna have to wait for their next shipment if i can just get this done and then start firing on that oh boy here we go here we go yes we did it we took a tower down by ourselves oh my gosh icarus you're the man no you're the man no, you're the man. Okay, you're the mech. I got it. Yes, you're the mech. All right, so I need to hurry up and put this generator there. So that is the last of those guys. And the threat is gone. We are clear. This planet is been liberated. Yeah, you run off. You run off and join your Mr. Hive. <laughs> Took another one for you, me, buddy. What are you going to do now? All right, so now we have that power hooked up to our main power source and that gives us a decent amount of megawatts to start things off but do we really want to put up the planetary shields like right now man no we need to try to get the deuterium power going first we definitely learned from our mistake so that's what i think is going to be next we have to do the deuterium power on this planet but i think that's going to be it for today because i think setting up the planetary shields and getting the deuterium factory up and running yeah that's going to take a whole lot of time and we are way over budget for time but if you do feel like supporting me in additional ways other than watching the video to the very end i do have a patreon set up i will leave a link in the description so you can see the patreon and see if there's a way you can support there if not the way that you can best support me is just to like and subscribe as it always helps out the channel hit the notification bell so you can be alerted of any time any dyson sphere or any other content gets uploaded to the page hit one of the buttons at the end of the screen so you can see what else we've been playing and don't forget to keep gaming for the love of games bye now